Hi guys and welcome. If you consider yourself an entrepreneur and you're looking to grow your business, but you quite don't have required skills to make some work like web design or website building or so on and so on, uh, there are tons of options to hire a professional freelance professional that will help you to do that. But how to find the correct and proper platform because there are tons of them on the market and we have an answer for this question. We spend tons of time, money and efforts to analyze all the platforms and all the freelance sites to help you choose. Jump into this review to find out everything you need to know about one of the most famous projects for freelancers, Upwork. Hi people, you want to hire a talented but affordable graphic designer and someone suggests Upwork. Now all you have to do is register on this global freelancing platform, create a job posting and then sit back as a slew of candidates jump at the prospect of working on your project. You choose the best freelancer and your project is good to go. Simple, isn't it? So what is Upwork? Few years ago, two popular online freelance platforms from Elance and Odesk merged to form Upwork. According to the company, it is the premier freelancing website for top companies to hire and work with the world's most talented independent professionals. The platform says it has over 12 million registered freelancers and more than 5 million registered clients. It posts 3 million jobs annually and does offer $1 billion worth of work on an annual basis. Freelance platforms are gaining popularity. With the advent of gig economy, where people are leaving the security of full-time jobs to pursue different opportunities in the form of independent work, many talented professionals are signing up on digital marketplaces like Upwork to offer their services. Even attorneys, CMOs and consultants with world-class training are choosing to work independently. Freelancing is great for individuals as they get to choose their assignments and work schedule. For organizations, it is a good opportunity to hire talent that may not be available in-house or even in the same geography. By 2017, an average business will hire 25% of its workforce as freelance workers, up from 20% in 2015. How much does Upwork charge? The digital platform has changed its free structure and now charges both the client posting the job and the freelancer getting the gig. For clients hiring freelancers, the company charges 2.75% processing fee per payment transaction. This fee is calculated as a percentage on top of the payment you may take to freelancers. For example, if the client makes a $1,000 payment for a project, the platform will charge an additional $27.50 processing fee. Earlier, clients were not charged any fee. Clients that spend more than $910 a month and hire in the US, Canada, Australia, the UK and certain Eurozone countries may be allowed to pay a monthly flat fee of $25 instead of 2.75% per payment. This fee structure is accepted only on a case-by-case -case basis, so you need to write to Upwork for approval. Freelancers pay a sliding service fee of 20% to 5% based on the freelancer's lifetime billings with a specific client. You pay 20% for the first $500 billed with the client across all contracts. Then 10% for total billings between $500 and one cent and $10,000. When total billings with the client exceed $10,000, a 5% fee is charged. Essentially, the more business you do with one client, the less fee you pay in the long run. Earlier, freelancers only paid a fixed 10% service fee for all contracts. According to Upwork, the new pricing model is designed to incentivize higher value, longer term projects. Some freelancers who were earlier working on Elance and Odesk have found the pricing change disconcentrating. James Doran, a freelance writer who has been getting work from Upwork since 2014, said he would have trouble hitting the $10,000 lifetime total for his clients to qualify for the 5% fee. Others, like Danny Margulis, a copywriter who moved to Upwork from Elance, disagree. Margulis said he quickly got a request from a client who saw his $135 per hour rate. Increasing fees may not be a big issue on its own. But sometimes, 
clients may want to adjust the price of a job with a processing fee, reducing the actual rate of a job. There are some highly tedious proofreading jobs going for as low as $10 per hour. Freelancers, on the other hand, may jack up the cost of a job according to the margins they want to make after paying service fees. These may lead to businesses paying higher fees indirectly, while simultaneously getting deprived of good talent that is not keen on low-ball job offers. Get your pricing right. As a client, if you want to attract good talent, be realistic about the pricing. Good work can be hired at two five dollars per hour rate. If you price a job too low, it will attract poor quality of freelancers and spam bots that bombard potential jobs with low bids. Describe the project in detail, including skill requirement and how many hours required to complete it. Categorize it accurately. This will prevent you from wasting a lot of valuable time shifting through large numbers of irrelevant proposals. As a freelancer, don't price yourself low or offer free work to attract jobs even if you are just starting out. Calculate your hourly rate or price per job accurately using a rate calculator so that it not only covers your cost but also reflects the talent you bring to the table. Don't just compete on price. Show potential clients the time and resources that you spend on each aspect of a job and the value that you provide. This will help build trust and respect which goes a long way in getting great offers. Don't restrain yourself from applying for a job where the client budget is lower than your price. Sometimes clients do not know what the budget should be for a job but are happy to pay for good talent. How do I make payments on Upwork? When you hire a freelancer on this platform, there are two types of payment. For fixed price contracts and for hourly gigs. For fixed price contracts, clients need to make deposits on an escrow account. The money is released to the freelancer once the job is done or on re-achieving specific milestones in the project, whatever has been decided between the two parties. On hourly jobs, clients are billed every Monday for the previous week's hours based on the freelancer's work diary that records numbers of hours put in a job with work-in-progress snapshots. Payments can be made through credit card, debit card, bank accounts, US clients only, and PayPal. These payment accounts need to be verified by Upwork. As a freelancer on an hourly job, the billing period will start on a Monday and end on Sunday, and your funds are available 10 days later, following the close of the billing period. For fixed price gigs, money is released to the freelancer on completion of the milestone or project after a security period of around 5 days. Upwork needs this time to process and clear the payments and resolve any disputes before funds are released. This system also has an inbuilt payment protection for clients and freelancers. As a client, you get to define milestones in fixed price jobs. Payment is released to the freelancer only after you have received and approved the work. For hourly jobs, you can check a freelancer's work diary before approving payment. Freelancers are assured. Payments for hours clearly worked on the project using the Upwork desktop app. On fixed rate projects, the client deposits a milestone payment into escrow before work begins. For many freelancers, this system works better than running after a client to clear an invoice after completing a project. However, it sometimes gets tricky. There have been cases where freelancers have finished a job, but the client has refused payment on some pretext like unsatisfactory quality. Similarly, clients sometimes make the final payment but aren't given complete access to all deliverabilities of a project code files, graphics, templates, etc. by the freelancer. This means as a client you don't get access to the job you have paid for and as a freelancer you can't get your money. With the rise of freelancer economy, many companies are finding it profitable to hire through online platforms. The talent pool of freelancers and remote workers on these platforms is bigger and also gives you a wider geographic reach. Moreover, you save on the additional costs associated with hiring an on-site worker like office space, workstation, insurance, etc. With new marketplaces like Upwork expanding and improving its services to allow easy and efficient connection between clients and freelancers, there hasn't been a better time to source top performance for your projects online. Will you be hiring your next graphic designer or copywriter from a digital freelance platform?